The song that became one of Elvis Presley's most iconic and memorable hits was born out of a real-life love triangle. The songwriter, Mark James, was married to his first wife when he wrote Suspicious Minds, but he still had feelings for his childhood sweetheart, who was also married. James' wife was suspicious of his affair, and he felt trapped in a situation that he could not escape. He expressed his emotions in the lyrics of the song, which capture the mistrust and dysfunction of a relationship that needs to overcome its issues in order to survive. James recorded the song in 1968 for Scepter Records, with a country-style arrangement and backup vocals by Donna Jin Godchalks and others. However, his version did not chart and remained obscure. The following year, Elvis Presley heard the song at American Sound Studios in Memphis, where he went to record a new album after his successful 1968 comeback special. Elvis was impressed by the song and wanted to record it with the same backup singers and the studio producer Chips Mama. However, Elvis' manager, Colonel Tom Parker, tried to stop him from recording the song unless he could get a cut of the royalties and the publishing rights. James refused to give up his rights and Elvis insisted on recording the song anyway, defying Parker's wishes. He recorded the song between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. on September 23, 1969, with a soulful and passionate performance that showcased his vocal range and charisma. The song was released as a single in August 1969 and became a huge hit for Elvis, reaching No. 1 on the Billboard Hot 100 in November. It was his first No. 1 hit since 1962 and marked his comeback as a musical force. It also became one of his signature songs and a staple of his live shows. One of the distinctive features of the song is the fade-out and fade-in effect near the end, which creates a sense of suspense and drama. This effect was not intended by Mammon or Elvis, but was added later by RCA producer Felton Jarvis, who was unhappy that Elvis had recorded at another studio. Jarvis wanted to make the song longer by overdubbing it and fading it out and in. Mammon was furious when he heard what Jarvis had done, but he could not change it back. The effect turned out to be popular with fans and critics and became part of Elvis' stage act. Suspicious Minds is widely regarded as one of Elvis' best songs and one of the greatest songs of all time. It has been covered by many artists such as Dwight Yoakam, Waylon Jennings, Candy Staten, BJ, Thomas, and Fine Young Cannibals. It has also been featured in many movies, TV shows, and commercials. The song is a testament to Elvis' musical genius and legacy, as well as to Mark James' personal experience and talent.